this video I'm going to show you how you can get started with Happy version 17. We're going to build a server that we can make requests to from a browser and get back some very simple replies. All we have at the moment is an editor with an empty directory to hold our project and a terminal window open in the same directory. I'm going to create a skeleton package.json file by running npm init passing the yes flag to accept all the defaults. In this tutorial we're only going to use one dependency and that's happy so I'll go ahead and install that now. I've created an index.js file to hold the example. First I'm going to require happy. Then we're going to create a happy server object that listens on port 4000 so we pass that as an option to happy.server. Next I'm going to write the code that actually starts our server listening for requests. One of the big changes in happy 17 is the widespread adoption of async await over callbacks. To take advantage of async await we need to wrap our startup code in an async function. We can then call this start function immediately. Let's hop over to our terminal and run node index.js. You can see that our server has started listening on port 4000. Let's confirm that it's alive by loading up port 4000 in a browser tab. So, we got a 404 not found error. That's because we haven't created any routes yet. Routes tell your server how to respond to certain requests. I'm going to create a route by calling server.root and passing several options. The path to the route, the HTTP method that the route should match, in this case the get method, and a handler. This is the meat of the route where you tell Happy how to respond. You define a function that takes two arguments, a request object and H which is the response toolkit. We'll learn more about that later. I'm simply going to return the string hello world for now. Let's go ahead and restart our server. Loading the root again and we now see the message hello world. If we're building an API we'll probably want to respond with JSON rather than plain text. Let's add another root that instead returns an object. Happy is smart enough to know that when you return a plain object, you're probably sending JSON, so it will add the appropriate header to the response. 